Hello and thanks for watching this short video uh, focuses on how to export payroll data from your standalone Intuit full service payroll to QuickBooks desktop. Now before I even run a payroll and then export it because usually it's the last step and you can always click under related activities on the IFSP homepage to export to QuickBooks and that'll start the process as well. You want to first set up the export preferences. You click on account settings tab at the top of your IFSP file and this is Cliff's best golf course in the world. Right, so you click on account settings. Now it's already set up under export to QuickBooks. There's obviously a QuickBooks desktop for Windows. It's going to create an IAF file. So it's already set up to this desktop file I have but here's where you would go to choose your export preference. And I'm going to go back to where I kind of started. When you click account and settings, it's going to give you these three bullet point options, like where do you want to export the payroll transactions? And then not just the paychecks, but also the liability payments as well. So you have desktop for Windows, QBO, or Qu QuickBooks for Mac. And, right, and this is an IAF, an Intuit interchange format file. You can click the little help icon and basically you're just going to download the IAF and import it into QuickBooks under the File Utilities Import menu in QuickBooks Desktop file. You have that, you click Continue. Which QuickBooks checking account do you want to use? Click Save. And then of course, you know, you can also edit where you want the actual paycheck and payroll tax payments to go. So business checking, wage and expense accounts, where do they go? Company contribution, liabilities, etc. And once you have the appropriate accounts, and it's as easy as just clicking Edit, right? and you can make your appropriate adjustment because some of you will have a sub account that you might want to go to or each employee's wages are posted to their own expense account so you bullet point that and it'll open up some options for each employee and where that would go right you also have wages are posted to different types of accounts right so you have some options there so once you're done with the setup just save it and then we're going to go back to the home page i'm going to run a quick payroll and then send it over to the or create the IF file I'm not really sending it anywhere I'm creating an IF file to then import into desktop so we'll show you that under related activities you know export to QuickBooks so that's what you do or you can do it as I said if you go to the payroll home page you know from the summary where I did like this unscheduled payroll under related activities I can do export to QuickBooks and you'll only be able to when you actually have paychecks to export you know or tax payments or something like that uh, if you try to do it without having any data, obviously it, it'll tell you you need to run payroll. I know that seems obvious, but just in case. Okay, so you just go ahead and click on export to quick. It says you have two new transactions since your last export. So I'm going to click export and again, paychecks, contract payments, and tax payments. That's what's going to go. And you can always contact full service payroll support. That's why they're there. They set everything up for you. They'd actually walk you through the export settings anyhow. You notice down it created a payroll IF file. Now, if I try to, to double click on it, it's not going to open it in Excel. It's going to look for a QuickBooks program to open. So I have it saved in a downloads folder. So I'm going to go into my QuickBooks Premiere, right? And here's the file Cliff's Best Golf Course in the, the World. It's a .qbw file, right? QuickBooks for Windows 2017 Account Edition, but this could be Pro or Enterprise or whatever. You need to go to the File menu or any version of Premiere, even Utilities, Import IF Files. And you're going to scroll to where the IF file is, click open, and then it'll say your data has been imported. So click OK. And you have your ways of finding transactions that have just been entered. So I'm just going to go to the register though, right? Because remember it was that business checking account. And there are the two checks, Mel Clark and well, Mr. Khan. Go ahead and double click on one of them just so you can see, right? So it's not going to hit any items, right? It's not actually hitting the payroll in QuickBooks Desktop. It's just a regular check for payroll expenses that I've chosen. And of course you would see similar for tax payments or contractor payments. So that's exporting to desktop. Hope that was helpful. Have a great day.